Start here with Tom Savini of Days of the Dead. Oh, me? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Have you met Tom Savini before? He's an asshole. Oh, That's really? Right, yeah. It sucks that you look just like him. He has the worst rep. You know what? I, I am him, but you know, the, uh, it's funny because the, the rumor now is that I was in the pool with a Speedo. Oh, really? I haven't even gone near the pool. So, so those photos I, I was taking, that's not you. Even, so even if I don't do stuff, uh -huh. you know, uh, it's the nail that sticks out that gets hammered down, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You know, like, now, you, there must be people coming up all the time telling you how much they, you know, they grew up watching your stuff. Yeah. And then inspired them to do what they're doing. And does, at some point, does that ever get old or is it always just so, no, like, no, mean no, a lot to no, you? No, 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 I'm happy to have inspired them because, you know, I, I had a major inspiration when I was a kid with... Lon Chaney and Dick Smith, so I know what that's like. But, you know, I also have a theater background, and uh, the one thing you learn in the theater that every night is a different, sh you know, it's a new show. Right. It's a new audience. Everybody that walks up to this table, it's a new show. Mm -hmm. You know, they expect to be, I mean, they kind of think they own you, but, and part of that is because they've seen you in movies, you know. Yeah, yeah. But um, it doesn't take a lot of effort to be nice, you know. Yeah. Like, I, you know, George Clooney on Dust Till Dawn was the nicest guy I've ever met. And I love the way he made people feel, you know. So I, I wanted to make people feel like that, and yeah. And it just it's just by being nice, you know. Uh, so anyway. Yeah, it it's hard to pick. I'm sure it's like picking your favorite child. But do you have like a, a favorite or a couple favorite um, creatures or effects that you made that just you like, you know, that one's really one I'm proud of. Um, but they but you said it. They are all my children. Yeah. You know, like if I if I said Fluffy from Creepshow, then I think of Lizzie from Tales from the Dark Side, you know, or or the grandpa from Texas Chainsaw. I mean, they're all my children, but Fluffy's pretty much, uh, I, I'd say Fluffy, because I had never done an articulated creature before. Mm -hmm. So he was my first, so yeah, so probably Fluffy. Yeah. yeah. With uh, CGI becoming real big, um, do you brace CGI to, as like another method to use your stuff? Or yeah, you no, I love, I love CGI uh, when it's done well. Yeah. Uh, even today, the best makeup effects today are a combination of practical effects mm -hmm. and CGI, like all the Lord of the Rings stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like another tool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, I wish I had that tool a long time ago when I was creating stuff. You know, like when you're making a rubber dummy or trying to articulate speech. Yeah. You know, today it's just they just shoot you, you know, and just transpose it. Yeah. You know? uh, so I love it when it's done well. I don't think it hurts, you know. Now, I don't know. Maybe then you didn't think of it. But when you look back, was it fun to make those things when you really didn't have the money or you were just creating oh, yeah. all these things on your own? No, of course it was because um, limitations, what I've learned... These limitations make you more creative, and it makes it better. Limitations like not enough money, not enough people, not enough time, you know, not enough materials. It always forces you to be more creative. That's what I tell my students. That's what I teach my students in my school. You know, limitations more make you more creative, and um, you know, it's all about um, the mindset of what do I need to uh, uh, see to make me believe that what I'm seeing is really happening. Mm -hmm. And that turns into what do I need to show people to make them think it's really happening. Yeah. It's like a magician. Then you just create the pieces, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what makeup effects is all about. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any uh, current projects we can look out for? Oh, my God. I'm shooting. Or that you can name, that you can narrow down, maybe? I'm shooting Django's, uh, Django Unchained with Quentin Tarantino. Wow. I'm doing uh, the sequel to, uh, actually, I'm not allowed to talk about that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, get the I may be in Darren Har uh, No, I, it's all over the <laughs> internet, but I oh, promise right, them that yeah. I wouldn't say it, yeah, you know? Yeah. So that guy I, in the Speedo told me out in the The, the guy with the, they look yeah. like me, yeah. right, yeah. Actually, are you on Twitter? <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Go to Twitter. All right. Go to Tom Savini on Twitter. All right. Tell him that you know me. Okay. And that you know that he is not me. All right, all right. There's an imposter on Twitter. That's right. I'm just... Everybody go and tell that jag off. <laughs> To get the fuck off of Twitter <laughs> and stop being me, because yeah. it's not me. I'm not on Twitter. Right. Okay. Excellent. This, before I let you go, all right, great. All right. What do you think of this hat? Oh, I love this hat. Let me throw it. No, 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 no.